Vuitton. I'm sipping Roca Patron. I got this chick on the phone. Talking about life and how I just ain't right for her. I've been inclined to agree. Cause all I've been What's going on, guys? DJ Nala Simone here from Power 105.1 with a very special guest, Boz, who just What's dropped up? his What's album, up? by the way. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate you. How does it feel? Feels incredible. I know you've been waiting for this to drop. Yeah, it's been like two and a half years since the last one, so. Right. You know, and uh, the feedback's just been in, been incredible, man. It's, just, it's overwhelming. It's yeah. worth the wait, for sure. I saw people tweeting you uh, last night or, like, the night before, like, oh, come on, just drop early. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you got two hours, guys. <laughs> chill, chill. Yeah, we got, you know, shout out to, to the whole Dreamville fan base, man. We got some extremely loyal, diehard fans, man. They, they yeah. you know, they make it fun for us. So let's get into Milky Way and the project. What were some of your inspirations behind the project? Um, definitely global sounds, world sounds. You know, I'm 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 from East Africa, Sudan. I grew up, you know, on a few continents and really raised in Queens. But I wanted to put together, you know, something that, that encompasses everything about me. You know, mm-hmm. I think for the first time I managed to do that. There's you know, there's some New York raps, there's you know, some French electronic samples. There's some Afro beats. There's some Caribbean rhythms. Everything. Um, so yeah, that that was really it. Just like a global. I like sound. your your content when you're talking about love, and I think it's a skit where it's like, oh, you only get three loves. And oh yeah, that. yeah, a Bronx. That's from a Bronx tale. Yeah, yeah. So like thematically, it's definitely about that. You know, it's I about dig it. it's about you know, as an artist, kind of blocking out all the external pressures. Mm-hmm. of this industry and of media and all of those things and you know you, you'll you see a lot of artists you know and i'm no different we have our 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 moments of weakness you know like why why am why am i not getting this look why am i slept on why am i this that and the third right and it's a it's a very like toxic mindset so i think i caught myself before i could fall too deep down that hole and i just you know decided to focus on just grounding myself in in the love around me yeah. You know, love of self, love of others, you know, your friends, your family, um, our fan base. Um, and you start to realize, like, you you know. You're good. You're good, yeah. You yeah. don't need to look for affirmation in a, in a bunch of things that are, are, are fleeting in nature. You know, nobody's there forever. You yeah, know I can I mean? hear that. It reflects. Yeah. Um, And, like, your album artwork, The Pyramids. Yeah. Did those, you take that? Like, were you there? I did. You I was went there. And took that? I was there, yeah. I was in December. It was at the Nubian Pyramids in nice. Sudan, uh, which is where my family's from. And um, those actually like are the, some of the oldest pyramids. They precede the, the Egyptian pyramids. They're just not very much known about. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. They're they're from the, the ancient Nubian kingdoms, and that's fire. Yeah, I just wanted to. You know, I get a lot of love from from the Sudanese community, from from the East African community in mm-hmm. general, and I just wanted to. You know, really use something I know would be widely circulated mm-hmm. to just represent us, represent our imagery, our culture. Um, so milk is it's just a, it's a Queens thing. Shout out to the North Side. Uh, <laughs> my dogs T Y Trap K O. It's it's just something they would always say like you know like yo that oh yo those kicks of milk or like yo I was you know I was with Shorty Did last people night. People really say that she was milk. We do in Queens, you know, but it was probably I went to St John's. Nobody ever. Yeah, but I mean this is like some St St John's. You probably was with non townies. We, oh. we the townies. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. We ain't the students. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, this is really just a term. Like, my whole crew, we've been doing that forever. We'll kind of uh, reimagine certain words and, and redefine them. But, you know, in the context of the album, it's just like, it's it's about me figuring out how to do things my way, you know? The milk is like, it's the confidence. It's the self-assurance. It's, it's you know, me knowing or me making music and not worrying about, you know, who's going to understand this South African house record I did, you know, mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, who's going to understand, who, which one of my fans is going to be like, why is he singing on this record? You know what I mean? Right. You you deal with all those insecurities and you got to learn to just toss them to the wind. And luckily, you know, I'm not dealing with any of that now, which just tells you, like, they're going to appreciate, you know, your creativity. They want me to push push you know push forward and and stay outside the box so it's just me yeah it's really like saying it, i'm doing it my way you know i can dig that energy so milk is equivalent to sauce yeah, yeah it's like sauce drip okay, okay. we kind of use it in the same way i like it yeah 
So what's next after since you dropped the Milky Way moving forward? Are we going to be getting a tour? Yeah, for sure. I'll be out in the fall. Um, I'll be out in the fall pretty much through the spring at least. Nice. Yeah. Um, I have like a passion project where I'm I'm really trying to put together like an eight city. Everything else obviously is taken care of. You know, shout out to my booking agents, ICM. Um, but I'm really trying to put together like an eight city Africa tour. Nice. Eight, ten cities. Yeah, That's I want to. I want to tour the continent. It's a, it's it's uh you know it's not as easy as routing a U.S. tour and right. a Europe tour. I think I just got you know I got to get deeper into my network. Mm. Um, but that that would like make my year. That that's like that's my goal. That's like my uh like the mountain for and me. Like everything else I've done, I've toured everywhere else. You know five six times wait like. so you've never been you never been and performed in africa so when i went to sudan in december i went up to the radio station actually and um they had me like host and you know i just announced like a little pop-up for the next day i'm like let me do a meet and greet while i'm here like free um just take some pictures and and like meet the fans well, that's for the people gotta do it you know what i mean back in the town and and they just like they blew it out like it was like there was like hundreds of people that couldn't even get into the spot oh, wow. so then you know i hadn't been there in like nine years i hadn't been there since i started making music you know last time i had been there i wasn't even making music so a lot of people showed up and i could tell the energy they're like yeah like a picture's cool but like we want to we want to show pretty right, much right. So, so uh i had my dog olu from earth gang who's a, a duo signed to signed to dreamville from atlanta mm -hmm. he made the trip with me and we just plugged in my iPhone on the auxiliary, and I was in this little cafe just just performing over. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it that. Was, it was one of the funnest shows I ever did. Like, just because not the, planned the, and like. Yeah, not not at all planned. Um, so, but you know, I want to go back and actually put together a production. Like, give them give them a show. Maybe bring some of the some of my label mates. You know, just start building a, a grassroots movement yeah. over there. I think you know culturally, there's there's so much dope music and culture coming out of Africa right now. Um, there's so many dope Afrobeats artists and like stuff that's really crossing over, like, mm -hmm. you know, your WizKids, your Davidos, you know, uh, all these artists that are really, really dope. And they're like pop stars. It's not even like it's, you know, so yeah. like a small genre. You no, got Yeah, they're huge. You gotta respect it. And, you know, that's having an effect worldwide. Um, so it's it's just cool to see you know see the continent, um, kind of have this this cultural resurgence, and you know I'd, I'd want to do my part. And I think the fact that you do do that like that's what makes you stand out on the Dreamville roster because you have your own sound you know right like you dabble in the Afro beats and like like you could you could chill to your music but then you can also spit bars. Yeah, like, exactly. And that was that was kind of my proudest point with it is I, I felt like I was finally able to capture all parts of me and like kind of sew them together seamlessly like nothing comes in and you're like what you know yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on not it, smooth yeah it's smooth and I, that was a challenge um but you know it worked out so besides the tour and the music what else can we expect from you i know you guys have dreamville fest coming up yeah september 15th so, are we going to be seeing you on that stage or you no know you can't you can't do dreamville fest without me <laughs> I told the homies I'll call in a bomb threat. Oh, like, that's, I'll that's, shut this whole yo, thing down. You're like, silly. <laughs> you better have me on the bill. That's uh, gonna be fire. Nah, the whole the whole Dreamville's on the bill. I don't think I can speak on the rest of the lineup yet. Uh, and this is the first ever Dreamville first, fest, right? First, first, yeah, first of many, hopefully. But you guys should definitely try to do that in Africa too. That'd be, that they would, would be love so that. That would be so dope. Yeah, cause I see they oh. love uh, cold over there. Like oh, yeah, I saw yeah, that yeah. video clip. Yeah, we just went to uh, we went to Lagos, oh, yeah. Nigeria in April. Mm -hmm. uh, they knew the word like word for word, and the album had came out like three days prior. Crazy, crazy that crazy. was wild. It was wild. He brought me out, and I did a record, and they went like bar for bar with me, blew me. Like we actually exchanged the look. I almost stopped rapping. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, cause, cause, cause it wasn't even a song that Cole was on. It was a record I have called Housewives. It's a, you Everybody know. knows Housewives. All right, cool. Well, I, that's you know. probably your biggest record. Yeah, yeah. I but say. I didn't think you know, like thousands of people in Lagos would yeah, be going yeah, bar for bar with me. You yeah. know what I mean? 
Uh, so when it started and we felt that, you know, we felt the energy off rip, we, I just looked at bro and we were just both like, oh, like something's brewing here. That's and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, let me, let me keep rapping. I was like, I almost forgot my bars for a second. <laughs> um, Cause you were so shocked. Yeah, we were just, we were both shocked. Like, we both stopped like, oh, like it's really lit out here. That's um, dope. Shout out to Legos, man. Showed a lot, showed a lot of love. And that was, you know, that was more inspiration to, to, you know, explore more. You know, I was, I always get a lot of love from South Africa, like online, um, you know, Kenya, Ghana. There's a lot of places that's always messaging me, like asking me to, to pull up. And I'm like, you know, I don't even care. I don't care to come home with a bag, you know what I mean? I just want to do it. I want to go out there. I want to rock with them, you know, travel the continent. Like right. that'll be, a, you know, payment and experience, really. Um, you know, you always want to bring a bag home, but. Some things are worth more than money, and that is definitely one of them. That experience and yeah, that type yeah. of love, yeah. that energy. Man, that's dope. I'm definitely coming to the show. Maybe not in Africa, but the one out here, I'll be I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I saw that, uh, this, well, the video for Tribe with you and Cole. Yeah. Produced by Childish Major. Yeah. What was that like? Creating uh, that? It, was, it was fire. Like, me and Childish did... Uh, did the record, then I had played it for Cole, and he 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 co co produced on the record. He did the I drums, saw that. yeah. Um, and then once we did that, we were we were uh, in Raleigh working on that record, and you know it was just like a natural reaction. Like we were in the basement, like just going crazy, like two kids, like just playing the record, jumping around. I and, love that. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a really it was one of the funnest like just moments of the, creating the album. And uh, he was like, "Yeah, I got to get on this one," you know. So he he did the verse. Um, did the post hook, did that post hook. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was that. We went down right before he started the KOD tour. I'm like, let me catch bro before he like get on tour. Busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first show was in Miami. I'm like, all right, let's go to Miami. And then, uh, you know, shout out to Andrew Nissenson. He shot Night Job and Made Bell and Housewives. He's, he's worked on, you know, videos with me from, from Jump. And, uh, you know, he had this cool idea to go down to Lil Haiti, which, which was, you know, Right, right, uh, right on point with everything I was trying to do as far as as showcasing the diaspora and just, you know, Afro Caribbean people and just that energy. Um, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful video. It feels good. You know, everybody that sees it gets the same feeling. Like, you know, it makes them happy. That's the that's like the biggest thing I get from people. Like, oh, watching this makes me happy, which is like, you know, that's what you want to do with your music. Are you excited that Afro beats are becoming more mainstream, or do yeah, you feel very. like yeah? Yeah, I think it's dope because I think, um, you know, like, like it's, it's about time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about time. Like, you know, Africa as a whole has uh, been kind of like robbed and overlooked and, mm -hmm. and you know, appropriated in so many ways to see uh, movements coming out of the continent. And, you know, I was just in London and a lot of, a lot of like born and raised British dudes are of obviously of, of like West African descent or whatnot are making Afro beats. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh it's like they're directly getting influenced. Even me, the couple songs I have on it, that's a, a direct influence of those guys, you know, on the continent. Uh so it's like that's crazy. I remember I used to go back to Sudan. Last time I went home it'd be like ninety percent American music and like ten percent African artists oh, on wow. the radio and I went this past December, and it was the complete opposite. It was really? 90, yeah, it was like all African artists, and like every now and then you hear a few American rappers, and I'm just like, yo, that's that's awesome. Like, yeah. it's really it's really that time. That's dope. I like it. Well, let everybody know where they can follow you on social media and where they can stream or buy, download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just Bas B A S, I G, Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, pretty simple, three letters. And Milky Way is out now on Dreamville Interscope streaming everywhere if you like it buy it <laughs> make sure y'all pull That's up it. to the festival the pop-up shop and dreamville fest yeah let's get it all right i can't be a one baby girl no.